I think Newt Gingrich has embarrassed the party over time. Whether he'll do it again in the future, I don't know. But Governor Romney never has. David, we all know the record. I mean, he was run out of the speakership by his own party. He was fined $300,000 for ethics violations. This is a guy who's had a very difficult political career at times and has been an embarrassment. He's been downplaying his past, which includes the distinction of being the first House Speaker in history to be reprimanded for ethics violations. Good evening. Newt Gingrich, who came to power after all, preaching a higher standard in American politics. Now the past, which these days is bubbling back into the present. Tonight he has on his own record the judgment of his peers, Democrat and Republican alike. Former Speaker Nancy Pelosi is threatening to dredge it up. By an overwhelming vote. They found him guilty of ethics violations. Today, Speaker of the House Newt Gingrich admitted that he violated House rules by giving false information to the Ethics Committee. Disclosures are a reminder that Gingrich was very much a part of that inside Washington crowd. Taught it to over 10,000 engineers. It was legal after all. Newt Gingrich's oh-so-controversial college course that he started back in 1993 before he was speaker. Remember how Democrats denounced it? Mr. Gingrich engaged in a pattern of tax fraud. We now have a speaker under investigation for lying to the outside counsel, investigating his involvement in a massive tax fraud scheme. Tax fraud? Well, never mind. After a three-and-a-half-year examination, the Internal Revenue Service, Bill Clinton's IRS, has issued an official finding, no violation of tax laws. Critics said the course, which was videotaped and widely distributed, was too political, a scheme to use a tax-exempt educational foundation to promote a Republican agenda and elect Republican candidates. But in a 74-page memorandum, the IRS said otherwise. Quote, the course taught principles from American civilization that could be used by each American in everyday life, whether the person is a welfare recipient, the head of a large corporation, or a politician. It said the course was not biased toward particular politicians or a particular party. The facts show the class was much more than a political platform. There was no comment from Congressman Bonnier, who had accused Gingrich of tax fraud. But there was comment for the president of the foundation that sponsored Gingrich's course. To be uh, vindicated as we have been uh, by the ultimate authority, really, the Internal Revenue Service, is about as sweet as it gets. Gingrich issued a statement. I consider this a full and complete vindication. I urge my colleagues to go back and read their statements and watch how they said them with no facts based on nothing more than a desire to politically destroy a colleague. But the ruling comes too late to help much. Gingrich has resigned from Congress and already paid a $300,000 fine to settle House Ethics Committee charges that he made misleading statements during an investigation of the college course. When he settled those charges, Gingrich also agreed he should have sought better legal advice about the course. But it turns out he was right and those who accuse him of tax fraud were wrong. Brooks Jackson, CNN, Washington.